Hey guys, Quinn and I are back this month with the August Braid Box video. We are so excited to show you what you get in the box and the hairstyle that goes along with it. So the first thing that you get in the box is a packet of Connect Allowed hair. I'm gonna talk about that more in a minute. And then you also get some really cute starfish bobby pins. These are really pretty. And you get a seashell detangler brush. Quinn, wanna show us how it works? There you go. To brush your mermaid locks, nice. And then you get a packet of glitter hair gel in a pretty sea green color. So this is to finish off your part lines and to make the hairstyle extra mermaid. So the one thing I want to talk about with the Connect on hair, when you receive it, it's going to come pre-braided like this. And I've actually gone through and divided it into two bundles. So you can see that there, there's two elastics attached onto each bundle. So you're going to go ahead and you're just going to undo this braid. I kind of kept a little bobby pin on there just to kind of hold those elastics together. You're going to undo it and you're going to find that you have two sections here. So these sections, you're going to actually take, you're going to leave this elastic on and you're actually going to put this into the hair with the elastic. So you're going to create a little ponytail and then you're going to attach the Kanekalon hair into the hair just like this. I find that if you've never worked with this hair before, it is a little tricky because it's all loose. But if you keep it all secure with an elastic and secured into the hair, especially when you're first learning how to use it and practicing with it, it makes it so much easier. So that's how I have sent the hair to you in the box. And then from there, there's lots of other techniques for how to add it in and different braiding styles and that type of thing. So with that, we're gonna get started. With the hair divided equally into two parts, begin by making a small ponytail like shown on one side. Next, you will add in some of the Kanekalon hair. This hair comes braided and pre-bundled in two sections with an elastic around each section. You're going to want to undo this braid and separate out the two bundles. On a side note, I recommend hanging the second section on a hook or a coat hanger or a knob until you are ready to use it. I like to attach the bundle to a finger while I prepare to attach it to the ponytail. Then pick up the ponytail and attach the Kanekalon hair to it like shown. Real quick before I go on, I want to show you how to take out the hair when you are done. Before you take it out, you will want to secure it together with a new elastic. To do this, stretch an elastic between two fingers, bring them under the hair, and then pull one end of the elastic through the other end and pull it tight. Then carefully find the original elastic and cut it out of the hair with a seam ripper. When it comes out, the new elastic will keep it secured together and ready to hang up until the next time you want to use it. All right, back to the braid. I'm gonna go ahead and reattach the Kanekalon hair to the ponytail like I did before. And then next, you will wanna divide the Kanekalon hair into three parts. Set the left and right sections off to each side while keeping hold of the middle section and then divide the hair from the ponytail into three parts. You will assign each of the Kanekalon sections to each of the three ponytail sections. Watch to see how I do this. I like to match the middle Kanekalon section with the left ponytail section and then begin the braid by taking these under the middle ponytail section. Then I match up the right Kanekalon section with the right ponytail section and I take these under as I continue the next stitch of the braid. Then I match up the remaining two sections. With these two sections, I begin adding hair in to officially start the Dutch braid. This is all the Kanekalon hair you need to add into the braid, so from this point you will just continue making a Dutch braid. Continuing the Dutch braid is not too difficult, but the challenge lies in trying to keep the Kanekalon hair on top so it can be seen and doesn't become buried or hidden into the hair sections. One way to do this is to separate the Kanekalon hair from the natural hair each time before you add new hair into the braid. When you pick up new hair, add it to the natural hair first, take these under the middle section, and then follow with the Kanekalon hair. Watch to see how I do this. This will take a little more time, but definitely helps to keep the Kanekalon hair visible, especially as you keep adding new hair into the braid. If this feels too complicated to separate the hair out, just simply Dutch braid the hair like normal. 
One other technique to help the Kanekalon hair show is to twist the entire hair section as you bring it under to rotate the Kanekalon hair up to the top. I find this method works well if you tend to hold your hands in the palms up position as you braid. I hold my hands in the palms down position, making it harder to rotate the hair up as I bring it under the braid. So if you hold your hands in the palms up position, you may have an advantage keeping the Kanekalon hair visible. Either way you do it, that colorful Kanekalon hair is in there, and when you go to pull or pancake the braid after you're done, you will be able to pull those sections out more to the surface. When finished, secure with an elastic. And then I like to wrap the elastic with a little bit of the Kanekalon hair using a topsy tail tool. Then go back over the braid to pull or pancake it bigger and to help reveal more of the Kanekalon hair. You can really get in there with your fingers and dig out some of the Kanekalon hair that might be a little more buried. If you want to hide the elastic at the top, you can take a bobby pin and catch part of the braid and tuck it back under itself like shown. Repeat on the other side.
When you're done with the braids, you can go ahead and generously apply the glitter hair gel to the part line, either with your finger or a brush. I used a makeup brush. And that's it, you're all done. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up below. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on what we're doing next. Thanks so much.